Hey everyone, in today's video what we're going to do is solve the limit as n goes to infinity of n raised to n divided by n factorial all raised to 1 over n. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite n factorial using Stirling's approximation and then simplify and use El Hopital's rule. So let's begin. First recall Stirling's approximation. Stirling's approximation says that we can approximate n factorial as n divided by e raised to the first power all raised to n multiplied by the square root of 2 pi n. So substituting this into our limit, we get the limit as n goes to infinity of n raised to n divided by n divided by e raised to the first power all raised to n multiplied by the square root of 2 pi n all raised to 1 over n. Now what we're going to do is simplify by distributing the 1 over n power to the numerator and the denominator. Doing so, we get the limit as n goes to infinity of n divided by n divided by e raised to the first power multiplied by 2 pi n all raised to 1 over 2 n. Now we can see that both of the n's cancel with each other and if we multiply the numerator and denominator by e raised to the first power we just get the limit as n goes to infinity of e raised to the first power divided by 2 pi n all raised to 1 over 2 n. And we can actually go a step further and rewrite this limit as e multiplied by the limit as n goes to infinity of 2 pi n all raised to minus 1 over 2 n. And we can factor the e out because it doesn't depend on n in any way, so the limit doesn't change it. Now, just focusing on the terms inside the limit, if we raise the limit to e to the natural logarithm and pass the limit inside the exponential, which we can do as it's continuous, this allows us to rewrite our limit as e raised to the limit as n goes to infinity of the natural logarithm of 2 pi n divided by minus 2 n. So all we've done here is raise everything to e to the natural logarithm and we can do that because they cancel, so it doesn't change the expression in any way. And we've used the power rule for the natural logarithm to bring the minus 1 over 2n down to the front. And the reason for doing this is because if we were to evaluate this limit, we would see that it's of indeterminate form infinity over infinity. So we can apply El Hopital's rule now to solve this. If we take the derivative of the natural logarithm, it's just 1 over its argument multiplied by the derivative of its argument. So we have 1 divided by 2 pi n multiplied by 2 pi and the derivative of minus 2 n is just minus 2. This simplifies to e is to the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 divided by minus 2 n and if we evaluate this limit we just get e raised to 0 which is 1. Now moving back to where we previously were we have e multiplied by this limit we've just evaluated which is equal to 1 and we get our final answer which is e raised to the first power. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this content useful. If you did, could you please make sure to like and subscribe? If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you think you can answer anyone's question, make sure you give that a shot. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you have a great day.